Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. This is Ashang David, and in today's video, we are going to talk about pointers in C. So, pointers in C. So, the first thing that comes into our mind is what is pointers? So, pointer is nothing but a variable whose value is the address to another variable. That is the direct address of a memory location. Or you can say this, the pointer is used to access some information from a particular memory location. Let's start by seeing its syntax. So, you guys already know how to declare a normal variable, right? So, what is the syntax for declaring a normal variable? The syntax for that is data type and then the identifier, right? This is the syntax of declaring a normal variable, right? So, that example for this is, suppose we are declaring a variable int n. Suppose int n is the variable. This is how we declare a variable, normal variable, right? Now, to convert this normal variable into a pointer, how we can do that? Let us see. After the data type, if I add a star here, right here, here also, the syntax as well, the example of the syntax, this is how a pointer looks like. Now, this normal declaration of variable is converted into declaration of a pointer. So, this is how a pointer is written. The other form of declaring a pointer is int star n. So, either you can put a star just after your data type here or you can just add a star just before your variable's name. So, these are the two types uh, you can declare a, a pointer, right? So, in this case, this is the syntax of a pointer. So, it is, it is very simple, just data type, then star, then your identifier or your name of your variable, whatever it is. So, now let's see the different types of pointers. So, there are only two types of pointers. There are only two types. First type is, I'll write here, typed pointer and the second one is untyped pointer. Now, what is the difference between typed and untyped pointer? Let me explain you. Here, in the typed pointer, this typed pointer points to a specific type of data. What does this mean? Example for this is this typed pointers points to a specific type of data. That means let's say int kind of data will only points to the int data. Got it? Float type of pointer will only specify to only points to float type of data. Now, there is a structure data as well. So, suppose it is struct student pointer. Now, this will only point to the student type of data or student day data. So, here typed pointer points to a specific type of data that is suppose if it is an int type of pointer it is, it is only going to point towards the int data or it is if it is a float pointer then it is only going to point towards the float type of data and if it is a structural type of data or you can say structure pointer there is a structure pointer also so, structure student pointer, it is only going to point towards the student data here in this case. Now, what is untyped pointer? So, untyped pointer can point to any kind of data. So, here typed data is only going to point towards that particular 
kind of data but untyped data under type untyped pointer sorry can uh, point towards any kind of data here this is also called generic pointer got it this is also called generic pointer just because it can point towards any kind of data example for this is void pointer void star it can point towards any type of data understood this difference there are two types of pointers first one is the typed pointer the second one is the untyped pointer typed pointer can only point towards a specific type of data that is suppose if it is an int type of data then it is going to only points towards the int data float type of pointer will only points towards the float data and struct type of pointer will only points towards that particular kind of data so struct student pointer will only point towards the student data now the point to remember here in typed data is that int type of pointer cannot points towards the float data or float kind of pointer will not be able to point towards the structural data or struct data cannot point towards the any other type of data only it only will be able to point towards that kind of data in untyped pointer it can point to any kind of data that means it is a generic pointer so it is also called a generic pointer example void pointer so void pointer can point towards any kind of data now whenever in pointers concept whenever we do any kind of operations we use only two types of operators the first one is the ampersand or the and operator or the address operator and the other one is the pointer operator so these are the only two operators that we use when we do the pointers so this is what we call address operator and this is the pointer operator so what does this address operator does suppose uh, this is the memory location okay so suppose we have declared something as i equals to 50 okay so this is i equals to 50 so when we declare this let's say int i equals to 50 so what is happening here computer will allocate a memory location with name as i and the value will be 50 and there will be some kind of address to this particular memory location let us say anything let's say 2160 so this 2160 is the address of this particular box this particular memory location so this is the address of this particular memory location so if we use ampersand i or and i and if we print and i then it is going to return this value 2160 this is the address of the of this particular memory location which name is i so we have allocated i equals to 50 so 50 is inside this memory location but the address of this memory location is 2160 so this is what we call the address of the memory location and ampersand or you can say address operator is used to get the address of this particular memory location but he, what is this pointer operation if this pointer operate, operator will points towards the value of this particular memory address so if i write here pointer i if i print pointer i then what will happen in this case this is going to return this is going to return from i equals to 50 this is going to return the value 50 why because it is pointing towards this address of this particular variable so point this pointer operator will give us the value 50 why because it is pointing towards this the address of this value this variable and it is going to print the value which is inside this particular memory address so 50 is the value of this particular address so it is going to print 50 here 
So this is the main difference between the address operator and the pointer operator. So I hope you have understood this very well. Now let's see an example and understand pointer concepts little better. Now let's see the example for this. So suppose I'm going to write if program we have void main and inside a void main I am going to declare a variable. So let's say int let's say i equals to 50 let's say. When I declare a variable computer will allocate one memory here. So the name of this memory will be i. The value of i is 50 so here the value will be 50 in this box and there will be some memory address for this particular memory location. So let's take anything. Suppose 2016. Suppose 2016 is the address of this particular memory location for this declaration for i equals to 50. Now I am going to declare a pointer. So let's say int star. Now I can use anything for that pointer's name. So in this case, I'm going to write here PTR, semicolon everywhere. Now you can see I have declared a pointer. So here in this case, computer will again make a memory location for this PTR. And there will be again some address for this particular memory location, right? So let's say um, 3016. 3016 is the address of this PTR memory location. Right now we don't have anything into this PTR. So let's put something into it. Let's say PTR equals to ampersand of i or I have written and of i. And of i that means this is the address operator and I'm using i in this case. So what this PTR will contain here the value of PTR will be the address of this i. Why? Because I have written PTR equals to address of i. Right? So the value of this PTR will be 2016. So inside this 2016 will be the value of this PTR. And this 2016 is stored under this particular address of the memory location. So 3016. Now with this this pointer is pointing towards this memory location of i after this. Why? Because I have given the value as of PTR as ampersand i. So now this PTR is pointing towards this address of i which is 50, right? Just because I have given the value of PTR to be address of i. Now this pointer is pointing towards the address of this particular memory location of variable i. Now I'm going to print here some things. Let's say printf percent %d. First I'm going to print let's say i. Okay. So with this percent %d i, what will be printed here? The value of i which is 50, right? This is going to print 50. Now I'm going to print here printf percent %d. PTR. Let's say PTR. So what is the value of PTR here? 2016 which is the memory address of this memory location, right? So this statement will print the value of PTR which is 2016. 2016. Again after this I'm going to print some things. Printf percent %d now I'm going to print the address of this i. So what is the address of i here? Again 2016, address of this particular memory location, 2016 again. Now again I'm going to print the address of PTR let's say. What will be the address of PTR? address of PTR will be 3016, right? Because this is the PTR value 2016. 
What is the address of this PTR? Address of this PTR is this 3016. So 3016. Now let's again print print app percent D. Now let's print pointer of PTR. Now what is this pointer of PTR? How what will be the value from for this pointer of PTR? Pointer of PTR will be 50. Why? See, pointer of PTR. Pointer of this PTR. That means what is the pointer of this PTR? Pointer means the value which is stored inside this PTR, which is 2064, right? And it is pointing towards this address, which is ICE address, right? So 2016 in 2016, what is written here? 50, right? So it is going to print 50 in this case. I hope you have understood this one well. Pointer to PTR means pointer of the memory location of this pointer. So the value of this pointer is 2016. This 2016 is pointing towards this memory location. And what is the value of this memory location? The value of this memory location is 50, right? So 50 came here. Again, now I'm going to print percent D and pointer of ampersand of I or the pointer of the address of I. So I have written pointer and I. So what will be the value of pointer and I? So first let's see the inside part and I and I means the address of this I that is 2016. And what is the pointer of this 2016 pointer? That means the value which is stored inside this 2016, which is 50 again. So this is going to print 50 again. And our program is completed. So this is a small example about pointers. I hope you have understood this. What we have done here is, let me tell you, first we have initialized a value of i as 50. So in the computer, it created a memory location as 2016 or any location, any address, you can say 50 is the value of this particular memory location i. Now the address of this i is 2016. Then we initialize the pointer int star ptr. So when we initialize this pointer again for pointer, it allocated a memory location as 3016. Inside this 3016, it was empty till now, till here, till this point. It was empty. This is done. This is done. We are not done this. So till here, till this point, this is empty right here. PTR doesn't contain anything. So it just allocated a memory location for PTR and the address for this memory location will be 3016. It can be anything. We are just supposing 2016 and 3016 as for, in, for the example. It could be anything. We don't know. So 3016 is the address of this PTR and 2016 is the address of this I. After this, this was empty. So we put ampersand I into this pointer. Ampersand I means the address of I. So what is the address of I 2016? So in the value of PTR will be 2016 in this one. Then we started printing our first thing. So we printed I, right? So the value of I is 50 in this case. So 50 is printed. Then again we printed pointer. So what is the value of this pointer? Just because the value of pointer was address of I. So address of I is 2016. So 2016 came inside this pointer. Now we came to this step and we printed address of I. So what is the address of I? Again address of I is 2016. So 2016 has been printed right here. After this, we printed ampersand PTR or and PTR or address of PTR. So what is the address of PTR here? 3016, right? So 3016 got printed here. Then we printed pointer to PTR. What does this pointer to PTR means? Pointer of this PTR. That means this pointer was containing 2016, right? Now 2016 is pointing towards this memory location. And what is the value of this memory location 50, right? So it is going to print 50. Got it? 
Now, in our final statement, we printed pointer of address of i, star of and of i, or you can say pointer of address of i. So, in this case, what is the address of i? 2016 is the address of i, this variable right here. And what is the pointer? What is this pointing towards? This 2016 is pointing towards this value that is inside this memory location which is 50. So again 50 got printed. Right? So this is the example. And one more thing that is very important that you need to keep in mind is that we are using percentage D here in the print statement, right? But whenever we are printing the address, the address will be in positive value only. The address cannot be in negative value. These memory location, these addresses of this memory location cannot be in negative value. So it can't be negative of 2016 or negative of 3016. Address of this memory location should be only positive. But here we are using percentage D in our every print statement. Percentage D can return a negative and a positive value both. So in this case, whenever we are printing the address of the pointer, address of the memory location, we should always use percentage u. Percentage u. Here also percentage u. So to make sure that our address will be always in positive value. So what is this percentage u? Percentage u means unsigned value. So, percentage u means unsigned. So, this is going to only return the positive value for all the addresses right here. So, this is all about this video guys. I hope you have understood the pointers concept very well. If you have any doubts, please tell us in the comment section below. I will solve your doubts. And please like, share and subscribe to our channel Kodos Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates from us. And this is Ashank signing off. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.